Hello everyone and welcome to City Beat. I'm your host Jenny. We've been busy this week checking out the latest in Shanghai's art and cultural scenes, so let's take a look at this week's top stories. At the Cineplex, Ang Lee has water coolers buzzing again with his latest Lust Caution, which premiered recently in China. Lifestyles of the rich and famous. We've got the scoop on what it's really like to work for a fashion magazine. Visual symmetry. Today's guest gets a tutorial on looking good without having to make alterations. Though its racy content is bound to get mouths yapping, Ang Lee's less caution is a bracing reminder of the old Shanghai. But will Chinese audiences treat it to warm homecoming? Find out next on City Beat. Lust Caution, this year's Golden Line winner at the Venice Film Festival, premiered in mainland theaters with more than 1,000 moviegoers in attendance. Director Ang Lee joined cast members Tang Wei and Wang Lihong on the red carpet. The movie depicts a group of Chinese students who cook up a plot to kill a powerful collaborator with the Japanese, using a young woman as bait. The film is an adaptation of renowned Shanghainese author Eileen Chang's 1950 short story of the same name. It is said to be loosely based on actual historic events, which took place during a tumultuous period in Shanghai from 1939 to 1940. Many of the film scenes were shot in Shanghai as well, which makes the premiere a homecoming of sorts for the movie and its makers. While the director's own feelings about the movie were bittersweet, audience reaction was equally divided. According to interviews conducted by City Beat, many female audience members found it gripping, while male audiences were mostly underwhelmed. 他的他的这个主线吧，我觉得最后看起来蛮单调、蛮幼稚的。非常好看，非常值得一看。我可能更喜欢喜欢以前的吧。Lust Caution is vying for this year's Golden Horse Film Awards, which will take place December 8th in Taiwan. The movie The Devil Wears Prada presented us with one possible version of life at a fashion magazine. But is it truly an office build with couture-clad divas running from one fashion show to the next? We meet up with some magazine professionals to learn the truth. Fashion is glamorous. Fashion is also cruel. This might be the impression that Meryl Streep's movie character Miranda has left us, but we wonder: is it true? Let's ask a real-life Miranda and Andy. 因为他把一个嗯现在的幕本来是一个幕后生活的这样一个圈子推到了幕前，所以他把很多地方都放极致化。他可能把一些枝枝枝节节的或者一些很琐碎的东西都去掉了。那些什么米兰啊、巴黎啊那些时时装周里面，因为他可能要跟着主编到处去参加这些活动，那相对来说的话，可能还是一个比较浮的一个。一个浮华的一个环境，其实压力还是蛮大的。但是我觉得像他，呃，电影里还是有点艺术的夸张。Our number one question is: Is there a devil? We approach Xiao Shui, the editorial director of leading fashion magazine L China. 比如说我的 blog 上很多人给我留言说，你是不是每次也要看那个大本？我说是，我们我是我是每次要看那个本。那你是不是要去时装秀？是，我也去要时装秀。但是、呃、你说你是不是每天一进门就把大衣包脱了给秘书？我说那肯定不是。For the last few weeks, fashion editor Zhu Jing has been working on a feature called Weekly Matchup. The process from pitching the idea to the final page took much time and effort. It included picking out the right dress, choosing models, and the photography shoot. Fashion. 
Although we have demystified parts of the movie, the appeal of this profession remains strong. 这个行业呢，第一，它它确实不 boring， 它确实很有意思。因为各种各样不同的人，都有源源不断的一个，有有一个热情在里边。天会的确是有很多新鲜的东西，它是可以不断教给你新鲜东西的。Will you say no to the devil of fashion, or not? You decide.